So out on the morning jaunt again. Um, so a lot of people are having a lot to say about the price tag for Sky Sports when it comes to the Alexander Usyk and Anthony Joshua rematch. Obviously, there's a price hike for a Joshua fight by an extra two pounds. Some people say, "Ah, it's only two pounds. It ain't too much." Other people say, "Well, it's only three fights ago for Anthony Joshua. The pay-per-view price was." 20 quid, £19.95. Then it went up by £5 for the Andrew Rich Jr. rematch, and it's been that way for his last three fights. Now they're going to hike it by another £2. Now, I've never been one, I never have, I don't know if I ever will, I probably won't, ever say to people or try and influence people what you should or shouldn't do with your own money, okay? In the sense of when it comes to pay per views, only you know what your budget is you know only you know whether or not that's a if you can justify paying 27 pound for this particular fight or any kind of price point for any pay-per-view is entirely on you my only issue when it comes to this one is sky sports do start the trend okay now firstly okay it, nobody can be blaming eddie hearn historically people have always blamed eddie hearn even though i've always said it's got nothing to do with eddie hearn you know he didn't control the pay-per-view prices and he won't control the pay-per-view prices when it comes to DAZN either, as and when they start putting on pay-per-views on DAZN. But with Sky Sports, if you notice, whenever they change a the price, BT Sport follows suit, if you noticed. At one time it was 19.95 for pay-per-views on BT Sport. Okay, they were kind of, kind of rare really, weren't they, for BT Sport at one time. And Sky Sports were 19.95. Then of course Sky Sports for Anthony Joshua fights, as I said before, for the Andrews Jr. rematch went up to £24.95, so £25. So BT Sport went, okay, so Joshua's now £25 a pay-per-view. Guess what we're gonna do? Tyson Fury, you're £25 a pay-per-view also. It's almost like competitive. So now Sky Sports have done 27 quid for the next anti Joshua fight. You know fine well what's gonna happen with the Tyson Fury fight next. Yeah, you got it. It's going to be 27 quid. So Sky Sports, they do set the trend. They do set the bar, if you like. Now, as far as the price point is concerned, okay, Sky Sports, they paid out a lot of money on it. I don't agree necessarily with Eddie Hearn that Sky Sports bought the rights for Usyk and Joshua out of spite. But ultimately, Sky Sports is a business. How many times have we hoped that Sky Sports would put their hand in their pocket and put on certain fights that we want to watch? For example, uh, Kel Brook, we took on Terence Crawford. Sky Sports didn't do it, okay? And of course, we wanted them too. But at the same time, listen, they have to make money. So of course, they've upped the price by an extra two pound. Now, that's gonna do one of two things. Either A, it's gonna make them a lot of money, okay? And they try and claw back the, was it 28 million or something like that, so I hear, which was the, uh, the amount that Sky Sports paid Saudi to show this particular fight. So maybe they can get all that back with that price hike. In other ways, it could backfire on them spectacularly. Because even though it's only two quid, some people will say, I mean, 27 pound could be a bit of a deterrent for a lot of people, couldn't it? It could, because a lot of people will, or could, look at that and go, why? I ain't gonna pay 27 pound for that when well, I can go online and watch it for free. That's what a lot of people do. It's not something I've ever done. I've always bought all uh, pay-per-views. Come here, you. Leave Dragon behind me. So, yeah, I think that as far as the price point is concerned, 27 quid, as I said before, I'm not gonna tell you, yes, you should buy it, and no, you shouldn't. You should boycott it and find other means of watching it or watch it on YouTube the next day. I ain't gonna do that, okay? Um, only you know whether or not that money is okay within your budget, within your means. Can you justify paying 27 quid? I think most people will probably say yes, but I mean, there's always gonna be a lot of streamers anyway. That's always gonna happen. But these kind of like, even just a little price hike here and there will deter more streamers. That's how I see it. But anyway, August the 20th, Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, the rematch. Hopefully Anthony Joshua gets the win from my point of view anyway. Right, I'll catch you in the next video. Subscribe.